stands, polypods, and bottom steel all done in a day. Recycled plastic. It's, it's going to be the way of the future. Yeah. Go down, not bad. 100 mil brackets a month, 300 mil brackets a month. End caps probably need a bit of work. Anyone over 100 kilos is going to struggle to not to pop them off. So you guys checked out that video just on the end caps and. That's an improvement on the old cap. It's a matter of whacking on, making sure it's on there securely. But once you've got that nailed, do you reckon you'd be able to knock that time down a bit? Definitely be able to knock the time down a bit. We'd bang out a couple more, for sure. The, the plan that it comes with is, is really good, really helpful. The layout plan. Yeah. Yep. The pod, the pod plan. Around services and that, Harry? Some... Oh, um, pretty fiddly. Yeah, pretty fiddly. It's not as easy as cutting, cutting um, a hole in a pod. But the more you do it, the more you'll, you'll get used to it and get better at it. Yeah. I think the layout's pretty good. I and mean, it makes sense when you look at the plan, like you said. Yeah, no. and then once you've got your steel in the mesh and it holds together, yep. yeah, it doesn't it's it's blow away as well, which is a big plus. Yeah, that's the other thing. Yeah, storage, we don't have to weigh down pods, doesn't um, take a lot of space up when yeah. you drop it on site as I well. Can do it in the wind, it's fine. Yeah, yep. and then you haven't got that whole fadge of poly to take away. That's, that's it, yeah. Usually a couple of bags, more like them. Yeah, yeah and I'm the one that has to, you know, pick it up, so it's a big plus for me. <laughs> no one likes chasing pods, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but uh, environmentally wise as well, getting in the right direction, it's always good, yeah, definitely. The environmental aspect for your customers is an option. Definitely. Yeah. If the price is similar, 100%. It's recycled yeah. plastic. We've got copious amounts of it around the ocean. The polystyrene's not going to be great for the environment. I mean, the lake out there, if you were cutting poly. Yeah, probably would have seen a few, a few little balls. Persevere with it, keep going, and the more you do it, the easier it gets. And uh, yeah, man, step in the right direction, I reckon, for environment wise. Mm. Uh, just a couple of things that occurred to me about the key point is. You've got a good uh, clearance with the old tie wire gun, so you can easily just tie wire the, um, the mesh. You don't have to put pod sticks down, which takes some time. And obviously just more stuff that needs to be delivered and handled. And uh, yeah, it's just sturdy. What would be a helpful tip for the pumpies? You um, watch where you step. Fill the footing around the outside first. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, um, yeah especially anywhere where there's an end cap. Yeah. Um, Fill that first, get some weight against the end caps. To give it some stability. Yeah, and then, and then and, you know, a few plops in the middle of each, each pod and then you should be pretty much away. Nice work, tidy slabs. Thanks guys, appreciate it.